Hello and welcome to News Nine's Deccan Wahini. I am Jisha Surya. Restored version of classic Malayalam film Tambu, released in the year 1978, will be screened at the classic session of Cannes Film Festival this week. Tambu, which means circus tent, tells the story of a touring circus troupe and its visit to a village. Shot in a documentary narrative style, this film is still known for its visual beauty. Director G. Arvindan and cinematographer Shaji and Karun had won. National Award for this film. Today we have with us renowned filmmaker and cinematographer Shaji and Karun. So thank you for joining News Nine's Take and Wahini. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this film Tambu is considered as an all-time classic. Now after all these years, it is getting some fresh recognition. First in the form of restoration, and now it is being screened at Cannes. What are your response to this? Mm, cinema, according to me, that should. surpass the time any art form whether it is a poetry or the any any form of culture should surpass time film was made in 77 and then it turns to say 2022 and still it makes sense to the human being after two three generation that makes cinema actually uh, as a part of the cinema or rather the involved in that cinema i am more proud because i could able to recognize the kind of feel it generated among this last few generation or coming generation it makes sense to me as a cinema uh, a maker or film maker or rather a part of it so i heard that you have associated with the restoration <coughs> efforts uh, did you see the final output some of us have seen the uh, posters and it was very captivating are you satisfied with the final output uh, it is a black and white film the restoration in black and white film is normally much more easier than the color because in color then you need to look at various aspects on the color but it is in a black and white film basically the issue is the scratches and then the grains and then the shadow details of the uh, cinema whatever you want to do it but it should be in the original content whatever when we are we showed the film we know that what kind of quality we could able to produce and same um, quality we should attain through the restoration which that makes the success of it and and you remember that in analog days most of the uh, cinemas after running through the projector or even negative after handling then th- there will be a lot of scratches and dust appearing and that makes uncomfortable viewing at this moment because the digital is very clean without any uh, kind of uh, marks or the uh, positive side but that way uh, the idea you was to give a, a content which can really appreciate the um, which should look like the original content but then there should not be any loss of content uh, inside but unfortunately uh, the negative was lost and the print was happening there in some places and then it is combining together to at different different parts putting it together and getting the same quality it was a challenge but it was done that was the success of it and and we are happy also that the final culmination this year is up showing the film uh, to the what you call the cinema pundits in uh, and can which is one of the biggest platform and for any indian film maker or any film maker all over the world showing their content at can can be considered as one of the achievement in their life or career right so um why is this film shot in black and white because at that time color technology was available and also why in documentary style could you tell us something about the specialties of this movie no the real issue was that black and white was in 70s black and white was most popular in malayalam cinema also and there are hardly much of um, color films that time also the labs were equipped for the black and white also in southern side the reason is it was at least four to five times expensive if you shoot in 
uh, color films because it has to be imported from Kodak and the Indian government was very restricted on the foreign currency and you don't get it and uh, after all if you wanted to get it probably only Chamin could be able to achieve the entire film could be able to do it in um, color in Eastman stock which is also uh, challenging because the producer has to give guarantee to the government whatever the money you spend on this stock in foreign exchange has to return back to the government. So therefore, um, uh, in Jamin, Mr. Babu could able to do because he was an exporter in uh, uh, fishing side and so that he could able to. That's one of the good reason. Um, and another thing is that the expensive part like making films that time, hardly what you get from the producer, um, so TV and then, um, we, I, we call it Deviatan from my side passionately. And Deviatan was very kind to give uh, uh, or allowed around that and to make this film that itself was great but then our responsibility was to keep the expense minimum to make the film. The challenge was that originally Tambu was being uh, not how it was conceived as a different story because originally Aviaton wanted to make the film uh, where MT was there and Valastam um, wanted to make it. So then he said he has a different way of approaching the people working in circus and then. So he decided to have it a kind of clarity on that level. But more than that, cinema is always a visual media which is more considered as the language is also more international so the language becomes lesser and lesser than the people can be able to understand the content much more easier without the idea of the language which was the idea that time but personally when there was not much of um, screenplay appeared rather there was no written content before the shoot and then um, he gave me four page screenplay and then we had to look for what kind of, but he always we, in the sense that when we discuss in, while the shooting of the previous film, he always gives certain thoughts to the next film, where I become actively participant in that level. And then we, I know that what kind of quality after this consciousness is what he is looking for. He's a painter, musician and all kind of stuff and that way I am, really blessed that a filmmaker with the uh, idea of the visual interpretation rather than other thoughts like you know presenting a concept of cinema through the verbosity which was absent in that side and then we went there and then <coughs> based on our previous talks which we I could able to recognize that film is more <coughs> how to place it from the visual point of view because it, the cinema goes to the uh, innocent people who have never seen a cinema and then later we realize that uh, when their own entertainment comes like uh, Ulsabam uh, in uh, temples, they will forget about the, and the circus, ten people and then they go away and then the circus people have to leave because there was no money or the tickets pricing and then and this is the content but basically the idea is the circus people and the people uh, who wanted to watch it and the life of circus people and the life of the people in the village who become active participant in this uh, as an observer or the participant and their wonder their look their feels and in their thoughts as well as and as a creative person like in a circus if you consider them as the most uh, dynamic person who uh, place their life in always in danger occasionally which also um, for them uh, amusement for the audience for them it is an idea of a life and danger so this parallel uh, life moves with a greater speed and content and, and then there's a uh, human touch uh, to, to how you bring it out and then now I myself was wondering where the camera should be and how we portray it and then suddenly I thought the best thing through my education in the FTI because looking at La Strada or many of the classic cinemas outside where we could able to see that there must be a point of view for the camera alone how you look at it from the so 
I thought I will see it is an innocent, innocent person's eye. So I placed, I started looking at the whole camera. From my perspective as a cinematographer, how an innocent person look at this whole episode from their point. That's how you show the day and night, their people, their feelings, their thoughts. So which was been over 30 days of shoot. It was being covered the best, basically with a few uh, small, I mean small amount of light. Nobody is no, uh, aware of where the equipments are kept. So people are, uh, the innocent audience, are, they are not where is the equipment, where is the light, where, so they are uh, unaware of it. So I could able to catch a lot of candid works which becomes a part of the film and their unknown faces or kind of candid faces and their laughter, emotions, everything would capture at the right moment. So is the artist also. So it combined it together. It has a quality of a documentary, but it has an intense feel because of the visual content, emotions are there, people's, because they are unaware that we are shooting. And they are also surprised that the first time shooting is happening in Tirunavaya. So they were also unaware what how the shooting also because they are more engaged in the the kind of circus, the trapeze mm -hmm. and then all kind of uh, areas where they got amused. So it was also easier for us not to give any instructions to them while we take uh, and most of the country shots were taken in one week time in different different time and sometime on day and night. Of course, the early morning, the tents are coming up. The whole, all those things were all candidly done without their knowledge. So, only fun, uh, difficult part was that the raw stock consumption. Every time it can like not like in the current digital, each stock is costing one feet, one foot footage means it costs a lot. So that we had to be very stringent what we wanted to shoot. That was also a difficult situation, but we made it. That time itself, uh, uh, it made a different kind of cinema for the people to approach, to idea, to know what kind of cinema. Even without screenplay, there can be cinema can be born of. And also the uh, kind of quality in the sense that the people togetherness there, and the emotional attachment there, and the artist like uh, we know go we. Many of the people, um, and we, the warmth which we shared, we never had a place to stay even. Some of the people were staying in the tent itself. So it was, a few of the time, I was staying, sleeping after the film is over. Filming is over like 11 o'clock in the night, but in some lonely shots of the tents are up in. Then we are too tired, then we think in Tirunavai at the flat surface of the um, river with a good breeze best comfortable place to sleep and then get up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, start again preparing for the early morning shows and the people's activities in Tirunavaya. So I made together a, a kind of, and we are very proud that it is there today at okay. Cannes. But coming to Cannes, uh, only a handful of Indian films have gone to Cannes. But you are a rare filmmaker who has sent three films, your first three films were back to back screened at Cannes. How, how is your journey with Cannes began? Almost 15 years later after my education from the FTI as yes, a cinematographer, uh, I turned into a, a full-fledged director by myself. By that time I must have worked with many of the important talents in uh, in, in, in Malayalam industry, like AMD was then, RKG, George, Padmaraj, and many of the people for that matter. Mm, so I know that it has a mm, uh, different chemistry with the different people and everything. And by the time mm, I also became a, you know, unfortunately, people started watching my film as a cinematographer, even abroad. Many of the film which I photographed, like Tambu, was shown in abroad, uh, outside, uh, in different festivals, participated in different festivals. So n my name was very familiar in major festivals in, by the time I started making the directorial attempt. Previ was my first film and then 
people know that i was associated with kind of an art movement as so therefore they um, they know me in one way or another way in the first film of piravi was financed by the uh, nfdc and then nfdc uh, since nfdc was uh, doing or helping the international film festival of ifi at that time and in delhi even the film was ready in december 26th the uh, if he is happening in delhi in the january 4th so there was within a week time i could show my film in some of the um, important um, festival uh, programmers as well as the directors who came to watch other indian cinema for the selection for their um, finally you see all my three films consecutively went there and the end of the second film was saham which was in the competition in 94 after that no indian films came in competition until now that means which is a sad thing for me because after that no indian film going in competition and then you have to look at it how you, the films are looked by the people here or the what is the literary or literature and like a hindi in the language they could not able to bring out a novel prize a chinese or any other many languages even they winning novel prizes so our attitude need to be changed now even now because there was 94 94 to this year if you look at it more than 30 years it's quite a a uh, sad thing for me as a film maker because young stars could not by the time why it is happening they take 20 films Our, uh, every year the uh, amount of uh, films participating is uh, uh, they are also increasing like if um, five years before it was um, uh, something like 1500 and now it is almost 3000 film next year it can be because every country is started making the cinema competition becomes stronger the good contents are coming from the other developing countries like malaysia and indonesia iran there are more kind of stuff is but india is not concerned they are concerned only the red carpet which is very sad the people also start and realizing that uh, ashri rao went to red carpet otherwise they would not know about it like a sportsman in the olympics when china takes 100 um, gold medals we are happy with three or four and still applause and still that doesn't know the value of it so i think we need to look at cinema is turning completely an entertainment medium in india which is unfortunately when you look back the history of um, a country cinema is a part of the history if you if there if cinema becomes absent there and uh, like you know in you know, russia is still known as dostoevsky tolstoy and everything along with the uh, lenin marxism but then mm-hmm. architecture but then uh, they also start making better films and we losing it i think you should be analyze uh, politic with a lot of good political vision respective of here the understanding of cinema is uh, is more as a platform for the entertainment not as a literary platform so which is very sad for the um, in film makers to come up because they they know that the producers are not there to make in many other countries the producers take initiative to um, put their money to take it in this platform in india absence of a good producer is also a sad sight which we cannot um, yeah speaking about the content <coughs> your debut film peravi it dealt with the uh, grief of a father you know he was searching for a missing son we all um, grew up hearing the story of each revival even the younger generation know him so why did you choose that that topic for your uh, debut film and how about this content for you no see it was originally conceived as not rajan it was conceived 10 years before in my school uh, fts days when an, uh, a blind mother took um, and he, she lost her son in an accident and who went for a uh, military 
in uh, was selection but then the, uh, the blind person the, uh, the police gave a brief case or a his suitcase back to him saying that then the mother asked whether when is my son coming and then the uh, police said without hurting her say that she will, he will return back that the real fact was lost there because they don't want to tell uh, he died in that and they were poor and he was a road worker so the earning comes through him also the kind of blind woman mother that was in you know, i think that was, it happened to me in 75 so that came from one but here only the rajan case was in there here for me it is a custody death not a rajan case it will happen anywhere any part of the world even now it is happening even at this moment it is happening so the it was against custody and individual getting lost and then how the family disintegrate all those things are part of it that is the part it is curious to know how when cinematographers switch to direction the way they choose their own cinematographer for movies so you have tried a lot of different uh, cinematographers uh, ranging from sandosh shivan to anjali shukta to robert benita uh, so how do you choose your own cinematographers no to me personally at that time the people entering into the film, uh, from cinema industry th- from the film institute was difficult i myself was in that position when i came to the industry many people don't believe that that they can capable to do the work uh, as equal to them but then with our first film mm, my first film got a state award second film got a national award but then from then onwards still they were pessimistic on the indian i mean film who came out from the institute so i thought they should be with me so i should be a, a step for them to get so i give mm, i give them the in that position so that they can continue their career that's what it happened actually and most of the time since they were my assistant i always believe that uh, i can say where is the mistake is where it should be done how it should be done so that was more or less a team work which british shishya which worked out very well for me but they also got the career then later so what is more fulfilling for you a cinematography or direction uh, the idea of cinematography itself is an independent uh, a kind of a art work a kind of a work for the film to put it in a different shape so cinematographer could able to bring the cinema in a different you know feel and content and everything so is the director so for me it is totally independent work and each has its clarity each has on game it is also one on goal for that reason so therefore i enjoy both for that reason when i do my work so i know the visual um, uh, person as a cinematographer in cinema when when i get a screen play and then i realize that how it should look as the whole of the feeling uh, from many point of view from the color or the one which you don't want to see it when you chisel it out all those factors are the cinematographer's area where you can contribute a lot to the even around then films all those things you know the barn and the later works the book wheel and everything we use the same chemistry for that reason so and then when i make commercial film hari haran like um, uh, the films most popular film of his is the nagashadangal and then panjagni then in sargam which has a different approach and then i made the film with padmarajan with kudavade and then and uh, and arapatta gattiya gram and it has a different approach yes, so my films will not look same in different from different uh, it, uh, it needs that quality and then every time you have a responsibility how it should be seen from the director's point of view with keeping absent cinematography as the tool for the direction so that worked out well for my um, putting it together for my peravi my ingredients the rain colors choose and the sound 
everything was worked out well there. That's how it worked out well. <laughs> so could you tell us something about your next project? <coughs> it is a massive project which has been under production. A kind of uh, what you what you call it. The focus point is now to make the screenplay, and it is about the Amrda Shargil. Uh, Amrda Shargil is the painter, almost which we can consider almost a lot of parallel things like uh, uh, Frida Kahlo of the Mexican filmmaker. We are on working on it because it has a. a a painter who I am born for an Hungarian Jew mother for a, a, a Punjabi philosopher and there um, the girl who looking at the wonder of their life through colors and work and then she died at the age of 28. It's a personal tragedy as well as her idea of the colors her looking at them. She loved her all paintings look like more painful for her the darkness the colors. I too love a lot of feel about the pain part of it. I, all my feelings are about pain. So I believe that pain will give you, sprout out many of the good things out of it. And good things always out, comes out from the pain and these colors and her, which I believe that I can able to portray her life more clear through her colors, through her pain, through her, um, say, looking at the world and uh, somebody who had to die at the age of 28. That was my idea, so that pain, a painter, there are films on poet, poets, there are people on politicians. Why not a film on a painter? And that too from the women's point of view. Okay. That makes, that is my immediate project. And are you planning to start the shooting? Uh, it takes another one and a half year for me, because when it, it's a pan, pro, uh, uh, Indian production, which like an you know, international co-production, like getting some country together, so it needs so some pre-production activities, meeting them, because since I had a tag in can, quite people are interested to make, and since I have a tag in photography uh, section, cinematographer, so the many of the people in the abroad, they wanted to make uh, the film, want her uh, by a cinematographer turned into a director, so I got that positioning now from their point of view. So it is a different film, sure, but it takes, uh, in any pre-productions and before the shoot I need at least 18 months of the film. Uh, any uh, plans <coughs> on the main lead? Mm -hmm. Who will play the main mm -hmm. lead? Uh, we are, uh, that's a um, lead which we already in talk with is a Mexican uh, film actress and we are getting more some areas also but we are not sure that we are going to shortlist her but uh, getting audition from many, because mostly international cast with a lot of Indian support. Father has to be a Punjabi with a main loan, she, um, Hungarian women or the mother. The whole film itself is even their, their own culture or own uh, biographical sketch itself, there are a lot of uh, different nationalities there. So it has to be fixed up because for the known names will be there sometimes as international cast, which may take, I may have to say that this is my cast maybe after a, uh, another 10-12 months later. Thanks a lot, sir.